Today I'm taking a look at a fairly affordable AMD based mini PC. At the heart of it is the AMD Ryzen 5 7430U 6 core CPU with integrated Radeon RX Vega 7 graphics. It also features 16GB of RAM and a 512GB SSD. In fact, we'll be looking at a mini PC going by the name of Ace Magic Cron Mini K1. It doesn't even cost that much. While it currently doesn't appear to be available on Amazon, on the official Ace Magic website, this model can be had for about 250 US dollars. For the price, we are getting pretty decent connectivity, and the mini PC can even be upgraded down the line. Unfortunately, not all of the device is good. I was able to discover nasty downsides. Not only will I be conducting performance tests with today's Cron Mini K1, but I'll also be examining the power consumption, temperatures and noise levels. Furthermore, I'll also go through virus scans and will check whether Windows 11 is activated and if, how it was activated on this device. Is the K1 Mini PC suitable and a good choice for you or should you steer clear of it? As far as what comes included, there's the K1 mini PC, the power cord and power supply rated at 65 watts, an HDMI cable, a VESA mounting bracket along with screws, and some paper documentation. Out of the box, the device's Ethernet LAN port is blocked by a sticker telling and recommending us not to connect to the internet during the Windows setup process to speed things up. We are all aware of this. Many of us actively fight against Microsoft's account requirements. Aesthetically, I really like the Cron Mini K1 because it's kept nice and simple. The build quality is perfectly fine, although the entire case is made of plastic. With dimensions of 128 by 128 by 41 mm, the K1 can definitely be considered as compact. As already mentioned, it features the AMD Ryzen 5 7430U processor, which is based on Zen 3 and was released in Q4 2023. We have 6 cores and 12 threads to work with, plus the integrated RX Vega 7 graphics. My version of the K1 comes equipped with 16GB of DDR4 RAM, which is set to run at a maximum speed of 3200 megatransfers per second. However, this value fluctuates a lot during all kinds of loads, but certainly helps save power. While I couldn't capture 3200 mega transfers exactly with a screenshot, I can confirm the value of 3200. Unfortunately, the memory is only running in single channel mode, which is anything but great, especially for a Zen 3 CPU. This definitely costs us performance. One could call this a moderate to even a serious configuration error on Ace Magic's part. However, I kinda understand why they did it. The K1 is also available with 32GB, where a second 16GB module is installed. This may save costs in the production line, but in the end, it's the customer who's losing out on valuable performance. Still, this could make upgrading a little easier when there aren't two 8GB modules installed to achieve 16GB. Nonetheless, the configuration still is rather suboptimal. There's a so-called Raysun M.2 SSD with a capacity of 512GB installed in here, based on SATA 6GB per second. The read and write speeds achieved with it are satisfactory. Now to open up the device, the rubber feet must first be removed. After that, we are provided with good access to the internals for upgrades. Here you can clearly see only one RAM module being installed. The CMOS battery is also easily accessible, and while only a SATA SSD comes pre-installed here, the mini PC does in fact support an NVMe SSD based on PCIe 3.0 x4. Additionally, we do get another M.2 slot for further expansion, which is really nice. Now let's talk connectivity. On the front, right next to the power button, 3.5mm audio, 2 USB 3.2 Gen 2, and one USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-C port with DisplayPort capability. Very nice indeed. On the device's rear, one HDMI 2.0, one DisplayPort 1.4, Gigabit LAN, and four USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports. So there's definitely no shortage of USB ports here. There's no SD card reader on board though, but that's okay considering the variety and amount of other ports provided. 
there are ventilation cutout holes all around the mini PC and also on the bottom for the fan to draw in fresh air. As for wireless connectivity, we get Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. For the price range, that's okay. As expected, Windows 11 Pro is pre-installed. Out of the box, it's the version 23H2. And after performing a quick check, it turns out that Ace Magic activated using a volume MUC license key. Although some members of the community have reported of some issues they encountered with such a license after a while. At some point, Windows was suddenly no longer activated and they had to purchase a key themselves. Others, however, reported they hadn't had any issues so far. So it's best to look at the volume muck activation with a bit of caution. There doesn't appear to be any bloatware third-party programs on the system. This does appear to be a clean install of Windows. The standard Microsoft Edge web browser comes pre-installed, which, as is often the case, includes the Google Docs offline extension. Other than that, no extensions appear to be pre-installed. Also, there don't seem to be any questionable processes or services running in the background or ones that start up with Windows. Nonetheless, I always like to play it safe and decided to run a total of three different virus scans. Neither Windows Defender slash security nor malwarebytes were able to detect any threats. I got the same result with the external SSD scan I performed with Norton 360. There doesn't appear to be any malware on the device. Ace Magic does have a certain history, as you might know. The UEFI BIOS is kept very basic. We users are only given the bare minimum in terms of what can be adjusted in here. I personally find that to be a shame. At least, one can play around with the P states a bit. Now, once the Ryzen 5 7430U CPU is set to run at full load, it initially clocks at around 3.2 to 3.3 GHz. Even after two minutes of that, the clock speed remains virtually unchanged at 3.2 to 3.3 GHz, with a few fluctuations in between. The CPU in today's K1 runs at a maximum package power of 28 watts. The CPU performance achieved in the Cinebench 2024 test is quite decent for a price of around $250 or 300 euros over here in Europe. Both the multi-core and single-core values are impressive. These would certainly have been even a bit higher if Ace Magic hadn't limited the K1 with single-channel memory. However, this does not have a noticeable impact on everyday tasks such as watching 4K UHD videos in movies. Everything plays back smoothly. Image and video editing, as well as rendering, are somewhat possible with this device, but you still need a fair amount of patience to sit through that. You shouldn't set your expectations too high. In terms of gaming, I would have hoped for far better results and a smoother frame rate than with a comparable Intel CPU thanks to the Radeon RX Vega 7 graphics. Unfortunately, my expectations had to be lowered by a lot, because while older titles are playable with significantly lowered graphics settings, it's definitely not really an enjoyable gaming experience by any means. Having the RAM run in single channel isn't exactly helping either, but even dual channel won't be creating any miracles here. However, even older titles or less demanding indie games should be playable at a smooth frame rate with the K1. The power consumption, especially at idle and under low loads, is phenomenal. At maximum load, we are looking at give or take 40 watts. The integrated constantly spinning fan and cooler do a great job. This keeps the CPU temperature below 80 degrees Celsius on average, even under heavy maximum load. But at 42 decibels, the fan is clearly audible, but not annoying. At idle, it's almost inaudible at 39 decibels. If it weren't for the fact the fan aggressively spins up and down, adjusts its fan speed quite frequently. This behavior can sometimes be perceived as unpleasant or annoying. Comparing the power consumption of such a K1 mini PC with that of a more power efficient desktop PC, it goes to show how much less power such a compact mini PC draws from the wall. Sure, in terms of performance, they are not exactly comparable, but still. Conclusion The Ace Magic Cron Mini K1 is a very impressive mini PC in my eyes. It has potential, but unfortunately also comes with a few weaknesses. These include the aforementioned single-channel RAM, 
the volume MUG windows license could also be viewed as suboptimal, and finally, the noise level when idling could also be criticized. That's because the fan frequently increases its speed and then rapidly lowers it again. Some might find this annoying. However, the device's strengths include its generally solid CPU performance, its excellent power consumption, that second M.2 slot for upgrades and expansion, and the many and above all fast USB ports, including USB-C with DisplayPort capability, and last but not least, the attractive price. The Ace Magic Cron Mini K1 is far from perfect, but it still offers us consumers a good overall package at a fair price, which is why I can recommend this mini PC. What are your thoughts on this AMD based mini PC? Are you impressed by the performance of the Ryzen 5 7430U or did you expect more? If you enjoyed the video, I'd greatly appreciate a like, but I'd also be able to handle a dislike. With that being said, Thank you so much for watching and until the next one.